Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming. Today we're looking at Hypothermia, which is an exploration survival game, and Lining Kugel's Snowdrift Vanilla Porter, another tie-in. I like doing that as often as possible. This comes in at 6% alcohol by volume, ABV. We're gonna get a pour. I'm hoping this is gonna be like the Breckenridge Vanilla Porter. I've I've come to realize that Vanilla porters are some of my favorites. Um, and it just says porter with vanilla. So I'm going to get a smell here. It's very carbonated. The last Lining Kugels was uh, pretty pretty carbonated too. It smells just like the Breckenridge, only just a little, little less um, stouty. Definitely has that rich coffee aroma that a lot of porters have. Uh, so we'll be back in with the game in just a moment. Alright, so we are back. So here is Hypothermia. Obviously it is a Unity game, as you can see. So we have food, drink, and medicine, I, I imagine. And... Picked up bread. Yep, picked up alcohol. Diary. I don't remember how long have I been here. Be a few weeks or maybe a few years. I don't even remember why I'm on this deserted island. The only thing that is still intact in my memory is that it was so cold here before. I should inspect nearby huts. I can probably find something useful there. Why is that hut there? Who lived in it? I can't recall. So we must be in the, the hut. There's a nice little fire. Picked up meat. Uh, can't crouch or anything. That sound in the background. And this... Oh, wow. Alright, so we have... Oh, we are slowly freezing to death. Damn, it's so cold. Yeah, we are slowly freezing to death out here. I don't know what the, uh, the green thing is supposed to be. Maybe, why isn't this bridge collapsed yet? Maybe I shouldn't look down. I think that's a good idea. Oh no! You died. Press Easter from checkpoint. Okay. We got hung up on... something. Oh, our vision's getting blurry. I've I've actually been in, in a condition I don't never never hypothermia, but really close to hypothermia. Oh, there's a little place we can shack up. Okay. At least this hut protects us from the wind. Rope. Alcohol. Okay. Diary. Every night in my dreams I see the deep pit. I know that I must descend there, my life depends on it, but I'm too terrified. Every time it feels like some dark, relentless force holds me from the ever-approaching pit. Oh, Jesus! There's still time. That actually gave me a little bit of a spook. Okay. There's really no way for me to, like, access anything, is there? They didn't give us any controls. We're back into the freezing cold. I have no idea where we're going. Or where we're supposed to go. Here? That's the pit. Okay, we're, we're quickly dying. Um... Okay, so let's do this. Attach the rope. Um... I can't leave. Oh, because we haven't, um... We haven't read that. Right, okay. Can we leave now? Yes. I hit E. Okay, down we go. The hell? 
Alrighty. It's the Omega sign. Weird. Okay, more platforming. What is this place? Empty. And the skeleton's empty. Next, uh, next checkpoint I will, um, drink. We find ourselves in a strange world. These have to be our skeletons. Make it across before we freeze to death? I honestly don't know. It controls really well. Oh, hey, that's creepy as shit. Okay. Yeah, it, the, the controls are really nice. November, renowned polar explorer in coma. Renowned polar explorer had fallen in coma because of hypothermia. Colleagues find him lying in the snow near the station. Explorers last journal reports show traces of mental disorder. Doctors say his chances to survive are small. To be continued? Ah, it's very short. And there's no, um... I, I, okay. Uh, there's no, that, that was, uh, disappointingly short. Um, so I will get our drink here. I, I would like to see more of that. Let's, um... Ooh. That is smooth. I'm gonna, uh, restart. And, um, we're going to go the other path and, and see where that takes us. Um, because it was really short. That is really nice. Um, it does have a bit more of a coffee flavor then I would generally prefer, but the, the tail end, we're not going to read through this, we're just going to uh, pick everything up and um, go through. Yeah, it, it has a very... Oh, I didn't read this. It becomes lucky, harder and harder to survive in such conditions. Luckily, I still have supplies. Food restores one physical health. Key one. Oh! Uh, pills restore mental health, but damage physical health. Key two. Alcohol helps to keep warm, but damages physical key three. Okay. Well, I probably should have seen that. Whoops. So I'm just a big old asshole. I didn't think to use the uh, the number keys, but we we know what we need to do and we know where we need to go. So the, the sounds are good. I really the graphics are good. I I'm I I really ah oh, fuck. I'm really disappointed that this game is, is so short, and I'm, I'm hoping that, um, oh, this must be our, our mental state. Okay, well, we can just walk along, uh, we could have just walked around the outer edge and been fine. So. Alright. And we'll just grab the rope. And the alcohol, which helps us warm up. And the diary. That guy is standing there. Oh, I actually saw that he... Uh, that, that time I actually got to see that he was he was carrying a... Um, an IV bag, which is, is pretty creepy. That's the Omega sign. The bed has been moved to block up the... All right, so let's let's go the other way and and see because obviously I think that's where we were intended to go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess um, I guess that was what they intended for us to see. Yeah, that's really disappointing that this is so so short. Um, I was really hoping for a longer experience. That must, that must have been the house that just got blown away. Yeah, it's so, it's so sad. 
This was a really cool experience. I would have liked to have seen more. But um, give, give it a go yourself. I didn't mean to play the whole thing um, and, and reveal all the secrets, but um, it was really cool. I'm going to take one more drink and uh, give one more last assessment here. I still prefer... There's this um, almost honey-like sweetness to that on the second sip. And that's not bad. It wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I like it. I think it's really good. Um, it's not as good as the Breckenridge. The Breckenridge is definitely still my go-to vanilla porter. But um, if I can find more vanilla porters, I'll definitely be doing them on the show. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching.